ton of stun, and you need to decide now at level one: am I going? Am I going graduating range? Am I getting hover, or am I going stone skin? This game, guaranteed, I'm getting grad or a hover mode. And because I'm getting hover mode, I don't want to be CC to death, so I'm getting resistance, which at one, it's not really going to do much because I'm not sieging. Why am I solo bottom? What the fuck? But like I was saying, it, I, resistance at level one isn't going to do that much because I'm not sieging early, but at 16, when I get uh, hover mode, it'll make it so I can't really be CC'd at all. Not a good sign when your team is solo letting you solo bot on hammer. Definitely not a good sign. And I dodge all their skills. That was good at least. You always want to put your mines in the in the what do you call it? In the bushes. Because that because because she doesn't really have that much getaway. I'm just pushing, auto attacking as much as possible. I don't want to get into siege form because that's the only way I can get fucked up. I'm actually gonna put not in the bush but outside of it, so it gives me a little sight. And if anyone comes near it will it will break them off their mount. He's, the Nazebo's gonna push harder than me until I get what do you call it? Uh, until I go into siege form. But if I go into siege form, I'll get wrecked. But when he's auto attacking me like that, the Lily should be helping me because it's a two versus one. So we do two times the damage as him. But I think he was AFK for a sec. They will out, out they'll out push us because a uh, hammer, like lots of ranged characters, like any auto attacker actually is the they're the weakest at level one. Because auto attacks is the best scaling thing in the game. So you're actually super weak. I'm gonna push him back into the mines. Do a lot of damage right now. Dodge all the toads or the frogs, whatever you want to call it. I'm actually gonna siege up right now, just because they can't really do shit. And I can hit the mobs from getting the turret, that's the main reason. I'm gonna just Push back to some of the zombies off me. Really hope she gets that return globe. Thank you. Okay, I get back. Always get basic attack range. Now, as you can see, we're starting to outscale them, especially at double range. Uh, at F4, you're always going to get the increased range, no matter what. They're always throwing mines behind you or side of you, that way, because you're going to run away. You don't want them in front of you. You want them to be after you, you run. And I don't care about taking too much damage, because Lily has, like, one of the best sustain healing in the game. Actually going to Z out so I don't get zombie ball. They just used in Venom, which is actually a pretty big deal. I'm gonna hit the what do you call it for free? Can't get killed. Oh, we can kill. Shit. Right there, I try to, I try to keep hitting him to the point where after he, I lost vision of, of him. I would W'd and I couldn't attack. Like I could have attacked sooner before I W'd, but I had to make it so that when I W him, I don't have sight, and when you hit him, it'll give sight. And I had to have my auto attack off cooldown so I could attack him past the turret. But I didn't. I didn't hit him with my W. It was too late. As you can see, I siege up so I can hit. I'm just gonna W the things off me compared to moving. It, because I have resistance, I waited for the stun. But against really good people, you can't do that because they'll just wait. They'll check if you have resistance and just not stun you until you see the boosters. And I already used my W to push back. I have first aid now, and as you can see, I do a hundred. I do. More than 2x the damage I used to do at level 1, like almost 3x as long as I'm from distance. Because Sergeant Hammer is the further you are, you do damage. Don't want to tank mobs, but anytime against two range, as two range against a range melee, you want to be make sure you're hitting at the same time. That's the biggest thing. Because two, two, two versus one, like, you just do more damage. Okay, that fucker came out of nowhere. I'm actually running this way. I'm just gonna keep running because I don't want to get stunned by Uther unless I'm in the turret. And then I just keep hitting him for free. And Lily has good mana, so I'm not gonna use my first aid until I actually have to. If she had no mana, I would pop my first aid just so I get the cooldown off. Push him back, throw down some mines. Just not there. The thing I need to do is just keep pushing. 
he's not like one good thing about fighting him too is like he's not really uh right now. Probably has protective shield. No, nope, he just died for free. I'm just gonna get on the thing, and whenever you're on the thing, just siege up so you can hit the wave. Always throw mines in here. Bitch stunned me. Oh, I get hit by the turret. That was kind of bad. Just siege up onto the turret. We did get another Dragonite, so that's good. We're winning two lanes. That's in Dragonite two. One of the biggest things is you need to be lane winning at least two lanes. That way you can rotate to other lanes to pick up the Dragonite. But it looks like we're winning in three lanes. I always get Napalm Strike at level ten. The reason why I get Napalm Strike is because BFG is just useless. Like, this gives you so much damage. It's like another auto attack. As you see, I do 190, but it's like an AoE auto attack that puts a dot on the ground. So it's really useful. And it's the best thing for sieging more than anything. I'm going to go back and tap the well. I want the well off cooldown unless I'm going to back them up. Like, that's, that's another thing. Especially with Hammer, at 10, you actually start losing mana. Pre-10, you don't really lose mana. But right now, I'm actually losing mana. We're two levels up. Just want to dodge toads whenever you see toads never run into him especially if he, if he has gathering power stacks like late game oh my god they do so much damage so you guys just got to be careful on that i'm actually gonna throw mines behind us i should have thrown them in the bush but it's whatever i'm hitting them but i'm actually all my r's i want to throw it on the moon wall killing the moon wall is a big deal whenever we see the can't heal i'm just gonna push him back okay as you can see this is why hammer is so good like did you see? oh god i'm not dead but i'll take it off Damage. I'm gonna Z once the wall died. I'm actually just gonna back instead. I did. I have oh man, I wasted all my thing. But as you can see, Illidan, I can save my pushback for when he Qs and Ws, so he can't get back on me. And mines slow him, and then I have a speed boost, and he doesn't have slows or anything, so I can kite him the whole time. And then I do a lot of damage, and Sergeant Hammer has one of the most HP for range carries in the game. I can help Lolo do this. Looks like it. someone else to tank it. I'll tank it. One thing about hammer though, I don't. I want to tank, but I want to stay as far as possible because as you can see, 224 compared to 180. Sarge's hammer's passive increase. What do you call it? Damage by 20% as long as you're at a distance. I'm not scared to face check because I see three top. That means it's only Nazebo and what do you call it? Luther. Now with Fat Boys, the one thing you want to do is just push. I'm using my W just to push him off. I really wish Lily was with me because I don't want our fat boys to die for free. I can't touch the. At 13, we're gonna get giant killer. You pretty much just either giant killer or you get concuss our our wall pretty much. You're never gonna get the first strike. It's just too hard to like get off. I can't stop bottom, but we'd have top, so it's not too big a deal. Best thing about uh, Hammer 2 is you can just throw down your R, and as long as it's up, you'll get XP from it. Make sure you always push back Uther, that way he can't stun you. Wall is pretty good against Uther, but i rather have Giant Killer just because it's free damage. Especially against Muradin and Illidan, they both get max HP increase So you, from Metamorphosis and his ult. Fine. I'm actually just gonna fight. I don't give a fuck. With Lily, I'm not scared. See, right there, I just calculated. All I needed to do was make sure that I saved my W for uh, the Witch Doctor. Witch Doctor's actually dead here. <clears throat> that was kind of greedy on him. We had a healer. And because we have. Uh, <clears throat> Because we're getting bottom, what I'm gonna do is actually rotate mid. That way we can get the dragon. I'm just gonna bully off the Tassadar. Got the dragon. I might be dead, but it was worth. I'm pretty much dead. Throw an arc. Didn't even die. But as you can see. That's why Hammer is so good against Illidan. Speed boost, slows, and you can cast your mines and your alts uh, while running. So they don't stop you. There's like there's an animation, but it doesn't stop you at all. And as you can see there, that's why I survived. <clears throat> see, usually what you want to do too, the Dragonite, pre-10, you want to soak XP, but after 10, you can group up and push is all, all like five. It's totally fine because at this point you just want to get map control and you just want to get as much camps as possible. 
We kill this fort, we'll hit 16. We did pop alt. As much as I want to interrupt her, I, I'll be out of position. I'm just gonna hit this guy. I should actually be. Right, we killed him. I'm gonna hit Luther next. Oh my. Team, team. Oh wow, we got shielded. I get hover siege mode. The reason why I didn't level up my hover siege mode is because it's not gonna do much. That fight, because I wasn't going in siege mode, I was just run chasing people down. But now that I actually lose it, it's good to get. And one good thing about hover siege mode is it has like such good orb walking. So you always need to be orb walking. Always make sure you throw your R's ahead of them if they're running away. And it's pretty easy to know the range because you see this big line that's pretty the exact range until you get uh, level 20 with Nexus Fury. We're pushing pretty hard. What we need to do is just get camps though. This is when target camp was at our strongest when you can just like, as you can see, just fuck with people. And I have resistance and damn, I would have killed him. Keep against an Illidan, keep moving until his, his what do you call it? Don't even auto him. Just wait till his shit's gone. And this one hammers out as strong as you can just fucking have resistance. As you can see, the level one talent like doing so much work. Just gonna hit any target that I can get kills from. But this is like hammer at her, like, best point. They have to come into you, like, stuns really don't do shit, and you have such a big front line that it doesn't matter. Right here, we have four fat boys, and Sergeant Hammer is the best hero at doing damage to buildings. Like, no one's even close. With, with Siege Form, do increased damage, and your passive doing damage. Oof. We can't end, end the game, but maybe we can get top keep. Oh, that's what I'm gonna hit. Make sure. Oh, shit, okay, Make sure you always put the mines behind you, especially when you're sieging, that way they don't hit mobs. Big, big thing. Doing 400 damage to hit on the thing with my path, or with my ult. I got two keeps. We can end the game, too. We have such a big front line. I want to be hitting the things more than the actual heroes. Just pop first aid, jump scared. I'll keep that. And that's GG. They have nothing to defend. And as you see, Uther Stun literally does nothing when you have resistance. And that's the importance of checking which level 1 talent to get. It will either be resistance or uh, increased damage to distance. And that's GG.